guy looks up and says, well, if that's all true, Lord, what am I doing in Cleveland? <laughs> You're listening to WKSTM in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Right, right. If I said you will, you will. Good. Oh, you did great, man. Well, look here, I gotta go. Yeah, 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 as soon as I know, I gotta go. Right. Okay. Did you get the address? Oh, just like I said. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> you guys you just can't wait to get out of clean, man. <laughs> Could you have gotten any more beautiful? Maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't we go? Mm -hmm. You can wait. Wait a minute. What? You know what? Later. Mm -hmm. Now. Baby, come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. Now. Uh. Now. Don't you go anywhere, right?
Is that you? Rodney, I'm telling you, man, Coleman was trying to communicate with me. Coleman's dead. So what? Look, just because the guy's dead, it doesn't mean he can't contact us, you know? I mean, Coleman was like, he was like a lightning rod for extrasensory communication, you know? You're not gonna start with this stuff again, are you, Dinger? Why not? Because, Dinger, it's in the past. Can't you just let it go? Bobby, man, look, you know what? You had an out-of-body experience with the guy, all right? You can't deny that. I'm not denying it, Dinger. I'm just saying that, you know, for God's sakes, let's go on with our lives. I mean, Coleman was into some seriously twisted stuff. He ruined my life, and he ruined his own life. Bobby, wh whatever happened to your spirituality, man? I left it in Cleveland. Ooh, he's got bigger plans now. There is nothing wrong with making money. Please, that's a sad thing. You know, I'm beginning to think you're getting as dangerous as that old man. Dangerous? I don't think so. Look, Coleman showed me the way, all right? He was channeling something to me last night. He said, he said, know your will. That's what he said, know your will. Stocks went up. You know what the really weird thing is? I went to my psychic yesterday. She says that I was going to have some sort of nocturnal visitation or something like that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You went to your psychic yesterday? Uh... Dinger, you know what? You promised that you wouldn't spend one more penny on readings until you came up with your part of the rent. I know, Rach, but look, this was an emergency. I've been getting a weird vibe all week. Oh, yeah, well, you're gonna get even weirder vibes living in the garage. It's just I'm feeling a love bomb approaching. Oh, uh, no. Oh, yes. No, no. Oh, yes, a love bomb. Not gonna work. Love bomb! No! Love bomb! Ah! Ah! Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> Sick, you got that stuff all over me. Come on, look, Rach, look, the, the monetary system is just, it's too confining for me, okay? Yeah, well, I'll let you explain that to our landlord. That's not fair. Oh, I'll tell you what's not fair. I'll take care of his part of the rent. What? I'll pay your part of the rent. Under one condition. Anything at all? Good. That's what I wanted to hear. Stop talking about Coleman, stop bringing up meditation stuff, and let it go in the past. Dinger, man, what I'm trying to say to you is, Coleman Ettinger is dead. It's over. I mean, just let the man rest in peace. You're wrong. You'll see. Okay, I'm wrong. Have some of my peace shake, buddy. No, that's okay, really. I'm trying to cut down. No, no, I have some. No, no, really, I, I, I'm not into eggshells. No, the eggshells are the best part. Have some. Well, you go right ahead, because they're probably good for you, your system and everything, Mike. Rachel? <laughs> no, no. No, come on, Rachel. No. Demonstrations. No, look, it's not that complicated, babe. It just kind of goes on. Look, you can't put it on backwards or anything, okay? Condomania. Hey, what's up, sis? You're kidding. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, you're awesome. Thanks for calling. Great, I'll see you tonight. Bye. If you want to own this store someday, you got to act like you own it now. You care for this merchandise. You treat the customers like friends. And the employees like family. You know what I mean? I'm with you. Hey, Bobby, what's up, buddy? Oh, terrific. Hey, Lester, you should drop by the shop. We're having a special this week on extra smalls. One last tip, Bobby. Three ways to earn a reputation. One. By what you say, two, by what you do, 
and three, by the company you keep. Hey, did he just learn how to count to three? Dean, what are you doing here? I mean, can't you see that I'm busy? I'm working, I'm working very hard, I'm very busy working. Too busy for your buddy? Dean, what do you want? All right, look, look, check this out. I just got off the phone with Rachel, okay? She says we got a package. You know where it's from? Cleveland. And? You mean and? Cleveland, the place we grew up? The place Coleman died? Dinger, I thought we made a deal. Didn't we just make a deal this morning that you weren't going to bring this kind of stuff up anymore? I know, I know, I'm sorry. Okay, but isn't that a little weird to you? I have a dream about Coleman, and then we get a package delivered, and it's from Cleveland? Dinger, it's probably socks from your mother. No, not addressed to both of us, okay? She doesn't like you that much, Bobby. Look, look, aren't you at least a bit curious? All right? I mean, look, I'm not going to be able to concentrate on anything until we find out what we got, man. You never concentrate. What are you worried about? All right, calm down. All right, reach, calm down. Hey, 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 with the mess already. You keep making a mess. Everything you do is a mess. Whoa. What? Oh, this is too weird. Oh, yeah, a pair of sunglasses. Really strange. No, 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 Bob, Bobby, remember, remember the dream I had about that guy in jail? Yes. These are the exact same sunglasses he was wearing. That's, that's interesting. You know, you have psychological problems. You need a little help with therapy. Oh, hey, Bobby. What? Bobby. What? Major head rush. You know these are from Coleman? Dinger, what are you doing? What are you, are you having a flashback or something? I'm getting worried. Bobby, Bobby, man, you... Dinger, what? Sorry. Uh, I... What are you doing? It's an accident. I can't believe you just Bobby, did that. It's an accident. You know you just ruined my nice clothes. Don't These yell. My nice clothes. Don't yell. I'm not yelling. Don't argue. I'm not arguing. Discuss. I am discussing. Discuss. Fine. Fine. All right. Look at this. You ruined the letter, too. Look, look, I can't believe you ruined the... Don't do that. Stop You're going to smudge it. You're gonna... Look what you just did. You just smudged I'm it. I'm trying to help you. You're not helping. Okay. You're yelling. I'm not yelling. Okay. Dear Bobby and Dinger, I've been... I've had been... Fin for the bin, be careful. Love, Coleman. It's a little smudged. All of it? Yes, Dinger, all of it. Well, at least it was nice of him to write love, though, right? I mean... Dinger, man, you know, if you would maybe clean your side of the room once in a while, this kind of thing would not have to happen all the time. You're lecturing me right now. Try these. I am things. not lecturing you. The man is dead, for God's sake. Try these. I don't want to try them. I don't want to play your weird. No, I don't want... Nice colors. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Dinger? Yeah? What are you doing? I'm cleaning my side of the room. Dinger? Yeah, big guy. You never clean your side of the room. Yeah, no, it just suddenly seems like a good idea, you know? I don't get it. He's cleaning. No. Just started me as it stopped since. And you think it's the glasses? All I know is that from the second that I put him on, he started cleaning, and I ain't taking him off. Well, guys, it's making sense to me now. You know, Coleman was channeling me last night. You know, because he knew that the glasses were gonna arrive here today. Let me see those glasses. the phone. Cool, huh? Oh. Ooh. Look at that color. Isn't that pretty? Oh. Oh. I love that. You're rich. I was saving this for tickets to the Women for Earth rally, but the rent's more important. Women for Earth? Lots of babes, buddy. Digger, I want you to do me a favor. What? Take these and give those to Bobby. Here, put these on. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, no, no. Just put them on. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, come on. No, no, I'm da, not da, putting da, these on. Just do it. All right, listen. I'm trusting you guys, okay? Don't make me do anything stupid.
All right, seems like whoever's wearing one pair will do what the person wearing the other pair wants him to do. Yeah, but it's not only that. See, I didn't even think about you giving me that money. You just knew that's what I wanted. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. All right, fine. So it's not what you think, it's what you feel. Right. All right, check this out. All right, the person wearing one pair understands the feelings of the person wearing the other pair. Mm-hmm. Hey, Bobby, man, you remember what Coleman was into? I mean, he was into he was into figuring out how people could communicate on different levels, like kind of in a dream state, you know? And maybe these are an extension of that. Yes. Sense transmission. Soul sharing. Yeah. Yes, is he? Guys, cut it out, man. I mean, you're making me sick. What else is it, Bobby? I don't know what it is, Dinger. Okay, all I know is that it, it, it has nothing to do with what you're talking about. It, it's you. It's me? Yeah. It's not me. I'm going to bed. Well, good night, Grouchy. God, the guy just don't want to believe, Rach. Mm, I don't think Bobby likes remembering what went on with Coleman, you know? It's, it's kind of scary for him. Yeah. I don't know, though. It's like Bobby used to seem like more of a real person, you know? He still is. I'm going to teach you, teach you, teach you. Teach me, teach me, teach me. How to make love like a man, like a man, like a man. Sexiest voice I've ever heard in my life. And she says, I'm going to teach you to take a love like a man. As opposed to what? I haven't figured that part out yet. That's wild. You know what my girl said to me? She said, I want you. I'm telling you, it's got to be Coleman, Bobby. Here we go again. Oh, come on, Bobby. Seriously, it's got to be Coleman. I mean, look, what are the chances that you and I would both have the same dream about our dream girls in the same night? And they're both wearing the glasses that Coleman sent us? No, come on, Bobby. There's definitely some sort of connection here. I'm telling you, we're gonna meet these girls, and Coleman is preparing us for it. All right. I will give you that they were incredibly erotic dreams, but that's all they were. All right, Bobby. Look, what about the sunglasses? I mean, did you see what they did? Yeah, I saw. It. Yeah, I saw. That's all you have to say. Come on, Bobby. I mean, these were really powerful sunglasses. All right. Look, I think Coleman is using the glasses to communicate with you and I. I also think Coleman knows. You and I are living life right now without love, and he's going to send us our dream girls. And you think that's what his last wish was? No, not his last wish, his current wish. To send us our dream girls. Exactly. Oh, please. 
The guy's dead. And what's occupying his time in the hereafter is getting women for you clowns. You know, let me tell you something. Coleman Enger sure knew a lot more about love than you're ever going to read out of one of those little femme Nazi books you read, okay? That's right. Oh, you are such a misogynistic jerk. Hey. Hey. You're supposed to be on my side. Hey, this isn't about sides, okay? All I'm stating here is that if Coleman intended to send us love, then, and I'm not talking about sex, I'm talking about love, I will gladly take it. Me too. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the glasses down to Lester. I'm gonna have him take a look at him and uh, see what they're made of. Bobby, forget about Lester, all right? He's got about as much spirituality as a throw rug, all right? Look, you just gotta believe, buddy. All right, I gotta go. Does the expression, be careful what you wish for, mean anything to you? Nothing. Anything to you? No, nothing at all. Okay. Are you Bobby Keller? <laughs> yes. Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. I'm Lena Drago. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. You're different from what I expected. I'm different from... How do I know you? I've never seen you in... Why? When Coleman spoke of you, he made it sound as if you were just a boy. Coleman? You, you knew Coleman Ettinger? We worked together. Really? That's very interesting. Well, yeah, yeah, when I knew Coleman, I mean, I was very small and different. There were a lot of different things in my life. Anyway, now I've, you know, I've moved from Cleveland and I, I work down at uh, Sly Glasses on Melrose, actually. Is there a place we can go talk, privately? You had a dream? Yes. Yes, I had a dream, and you were in the dream. It may not have been you, but it was somebody that looked exactly like you, and I feel there's a joke going on here, and I'm not getting the punchline. So I'm not crazy. We've never met. We've never met. Ever. So I'm completely out of my mind then. Fine. Then I'm out of my mind. I'm nuts, and that's fine with me. But you do know Coleman. Yes. We were doing some very exciting experiments together on extrasensory communication. right before he died. His last wish was for me to come here and fill you in on our discoveries. Really? Bobby, there's something that I have not yet told you. Well, you know, I'd really like to know what that is because up to this point I know absolutely nothing and I was just, I was curious to know anything, really. Well, Coleman's and my experiments were not of your typical garden variety scientific stuff. And? Coleman knew that sex is the most basic level of human communication. Our technique, however, had one strange side effect. One conscious mind would completely control the other. The glasses. You know about the glasses? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. I, I know. Just a... <laughs> I need you to do something for me, Bobby. What might that be? I need you to help me recreate one of Coleman's experiments. <laughs> uh, uh, sexual experiments? Yes. Do you think you can handle that? Yeah, yeah, I can handle that, sure. No problem, yeah, yeah. What do you need? First, we'll need the glasses. Right, yeah. Well, I, uh, left them at work. That's okay. For the initial phase, I don't think we'll need them. First, I'm going to teach you how to make love like a man.
ready when you are, honey. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm glad that you shut the door because I like privacy too. It's very important, you know. I mean, we're sharing an intimate moment here. Uh, you know, for a second there, I was actually thinking that you weren't even interested in me. All you wanted was those dumb glasses. <laughs> what a fool, huh? Lena! Lena! That is cute. That is cute. That's funny. You know, I like that in a woman, a sense of humor. Lena? Is there anybody out there? Hello? Lena. Ooh, Lena. You are so sexy. I mean, you are really sexy. I'm so glad that you're back because I'm getting hot in here. I mean, I'm getting, I need to be cooled down if you know what I mean. And I need you, I mean, I like the punishing thing. I want to be punished. Well, I'll tell you, I'm definitely glad you're back. I mean, although this is very erotic, I'm, uh, I'm beginning to need fulfillment, you know. I'm sorry to disappoint you, kid. Who the hell is that? Who, wait, who are you? Who, 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 what's going on? Where are they? Where are who? Ah. You know what that is? I can use my imagination. The gun. That's what I was afraid of. Yeah. Just a little piece of metal. <laughs> but see, it makes me the hunter, and you, 
Mr. Rabbit. <laughs> and, and just by being in my hand, your life depends on my mood. So you gotta ask yourself, am I in a good mood? <laughs> or am I in a bad mood? I'd go with good, personally. I don't think so. <laughs> but you know what would put me in a really good mood? No, what? You telling me where the glasses are. Hmm? The glasses? Oh. I could help you with that uh, hearing problem. Oh, those glasses. All right. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll tell you what. I'll make a deal with you. You just help me get out of these little handcuffs and the blindfold thing, and I'll be able to tell you right away. <laughs> See, now you're toying with me. No, 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 no toying. I'm not toying. I'm not, I'm not toying. Don't do that. No. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. There are the nice light glasses on Melrose. I hope you're not lying to me, kid. You know what I do to liars? What? Hey! <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. <laughs> Dream girl. Excuse me. Can I help you with something? I'm just having a little trouble with the lock. Well, so you must know Lester, huh? Lester. Yeah, Lester's the owner. Lester, yes, of course, we're good friends. I'm thinking of investing in the shop, which is why Lester gave me the key so I can get in and take a look around. Cool. Cool. Uh, look, I work right here at Condomania. Fantastic. We'll be neighbors. Let me help you with this, because it sticks sometimes. I unlock it for my friend a whole bunch. Listen, I, I know this might sound like a little strange to you, okay, but I gotta tell you, I feel like I know you. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Well, this might sound like a line or something, but I gotta tell you, I dreamt about you last night. You're right. It does sound like a line. Yeah, I bet it does. Yeah, but I know what you're thinking. It's, this guy's had one too many or something like that. But to tell you the truth, I'm into this holistic approach to life, you know? Health shakes in the morning and... Firm body. But um, anyway, you 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 were in my dream. Is that right? Do you have a key to this? Whoa. It's mind-blowing. That's what you said in my dream. Do you have the key? Do you? Um, I gotta go get my laundry, because they're about to close, and I should uh Get it tomorrow, I think, would be a good idea. Hey! Hey, you! Hey, let me out of here! I gotta go to the bathroom, please! Come on! Come on! Please! Purple princess! Hey, hey! What'd you do? What'd you do? Come on, let me out of here! Hey! You know what car is? You're not gonna have much left! Hey! Be nice! Come on, I have lots of going over here! I gotta pee!
I've made a decision. I'm willing to give it up. I mean, I'm willing to give in. I, I, let me, I mean, let me out. I don't want to play this game anymore. I mean, this is not fun. I've had enough, and I'm, I'm let's talk. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't Wait know. Wait a minute. Wait, Rachel. Rachel, come back here. No, no, Bobby, it's okay. No, no, no. Come back in here. Please, come over here now. Bobby, I'm not into this kind of a thing. I'm not into this kind of a thing either. It's not what you think. Is somebody here? I don't know if somebody's in here. Possibly. Why are you laughing? What are you doing? Oh, oh, this isn't funny. You are taking this dream thing a little too far. You're not going to believe this. You got ten minutes. Ten. Thank you. Thank you. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'd be a lot better if there was some herbal tea in this place, you know? Listen, Dinger, I feel like I owe you an apology. This is all my fault, man. I, I sent her down there and... You sent her? Yeah, well, not exactly, but see, I was talking to her and she mentioned Coleman. Wait, she mentioned Coleman? It's my dream girl. It's a girl I dreamt about, man. No, 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 no. It was my dream girl. It's a girl I dreamt about. Bobby, man, Coleman's talking to us. Not now, Dean. No, right now, Bobby. Look, I'm telling you, man, we've had this thing all wrong. Coleman wasn't sending us our dream girls. He was sending us a warning, man. All right, we got to get you out of here. Seriously. Okay? Are you guys, like, hearing what I'm saying? No, do you hear what I'm saying, Dinger, okay? Lester said that if we get him his sunglasses back, he's going to drop the charges. Look, man, forget about Lester's glasses, all right? You got to go find Coleman's glasses. Don't you see? Coleman is trying to tell us something. This girl is bad news. Bobby, I'm telling you. If these glasses fall into the wrong hands, something really bad is going to happen. Trust me on this, man. How are we supposed to find a bunch of stolen sunglasses? Yeah, I mean, they could be anywhere. Would you guys please stop being so practical? Bob, ask Coleman where they are. He'll tell you. Coleman is dead, man. What are you talking about? Dream it. Dream it? Yeah. You know, you're, you're very sick. Lay down for a while. I'll catch you in a couple days. Bobby, dream it. Just dream it, man. My brother is in jail. I have to get him out now. I, d I can't afford this. I mean, can't you help me out at all? Fine, forget it. Bye. Rachel! What? Why are you making so much noise? I am not making so much noise. What are you doing? Well, I'm trying to find a bail bondsman. Well, you're not going to find him in the dishes. Do you have any idea how expensive they are? It's ridiculous. I don't care. Do we have any coffee? No. Go to sleep. for a reason, Bobby. You know where they are. You just have to find them. Look inside yourself. Look into your heart. The answer is always there. Don't fight it. Know your heart, Bobby. Know your will. Moses held out his arm over the sea, and the Lord drove back the sea with a strong wind that drove the sea into dry land. Moses, when he came down to that water, the Spirit of the Lord is definitely upon you, upon you, upon you. And in the beginning, God created the heavens and earth. They have the Lord's glasses sent to me as a gift. Jesus came down off the mountaintop yes. 
Just follow the yellow brick road. 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 and you're partying. Nice. Oh, good. I'm not partying. Does this look like a party? I had to drink because of you. Well, did you dream or not? Hold on a minute. It's a little bit fuzzy right now. Oh, gee, why am I not surprised? Okay, I dreamt, all right? I dreamt. I had a dream about Dinger and some fat biker and they were in jail. And then the fat biker was Coleman. And the fat biker said to follow my heart. And then there was a preacher, and I was doing all the preaching, so I don't know. Oh, well, now this sounds sane and rational. Come on, Bobby, this is serious. I mean, do you remember anything about the glasses? Focus. I mean, imagine that you're in a, in a job interview or something. Could you do that? Rachel, do you do me a favor and take a laxative or something? Because it might make us both feel better. Bobby, please, come on. Okay. The preacher said, uh, follow the old brick road, and he pointed down an alley. What alley? I don't know what alley. It was a dream, but it was in Hollywood. That's all I know. Okay, well, now we're getting somewhere. Would you know it if you saw it? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Ow, ow, oh, ow, hold on. Ow, that hurts. Where are those keys? Where's those keys? What are you doing? Going with you. You're not going with me. No, I am going with you. No, that is crazy, Rachel. You can't come with me. This is dangerous. OK, fine. I'll tell you what. When you decide to let me go with you, then I'll give these back to you. You have my keys? Rachel, you got to be out of your mind. Give me my keys back. What are no. You... Wait, give me those keys. Ooh, looks like I'm going with no, you. No, it looks like you're going to give me my keys. No. Rachel! What? This is not funny. I had a gun stuck to my head because of these glasses. Damn, hate that I missed that. Ha, 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 ha. You know, you're a real jokester. Let me tell you something, Rachel. The reason you can't come with me is because this is dangerous, and you're going to be hiding behind a book while I'm getting shot at. Oh, come on, Bobby. Be real. And you're not that tough. You're uh, from the suburbs of Cleveland. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty tough, okay? okay. And, and besides that, I know what you're doing here. What you're okay. doing is uh, I'm just as tough as any man kind of thing. And it's not working with me. I'll tell you what. I'm not going to play this game. Okay. You want to come with me? Yes. Fine. You're coming with me. Give Good. me my keys. Fine. Okay. And when stuff starts going down, I don't want you running to me hey. for protection, okay? I won't. All I can right. take care of myself. Good. Then you do that. Fine. Fine. down, please. Sorry. I forgot whose car I was in. Gee. You could bruise a vinyl. This is a Volkswagen, Bobby. Listen, babe, don't underestimate the power of a Volkswagen, okay? Wait a minute. I think we're being followed. Don't look! being followed. I'm gonna try to lose him. Oh, 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 oh. You're gonna what? Oh! Okay! Whoa. Please tell me you know what you're doing. Okay. I know what I'm doing. You took some kind of a professional driver's course, yeah? Oh, my God! <laughs> nope. How about driver's ed? Did you take driver's ed? Nope. I learned everything from television, Rach. Oh! That's right, Wild. Well, <laughs> While you were busy burying your face in the books, 
I was busy watching the best investigators on TV. Oh, TV, how reassuring. Those are actors, you idiot! Damn, this guy's good. Yeah, compared to who? Volkswagen, there is no substitute. Whoa! What for the shield, though? The shield, though? Shit. Saul. The shield is Saul. From the blood of the slain and from the fat of the mighty. The blubbery fat. Marbly fat. Fat! It's a preacher. What, the one from your dream? No. Yeah. No, not really. Kind of. Let's check. You got to negotiate the path. I said negotiate the path. It's not easy, I know that. But you got to call the strength from inside, not outside. From your heart, not the bottle. What do you want? All right. Uh, listen, I was sent down here from my employer. He works at Slay Glasses. I work at Slay Glasses. The sunglasses that you're wearing are stolen. And the, I... the, these are the Lord's glasses, okay. sent to me as a gift. That, that's fine. I'm sure he doesn't need them as much as I do, though. Because they are stolen, I would really like them back. Uh, uh boy, are you calling the Lord a low-down fence? No. See, he probably got them by accident, and then you got them by accident, and it was a bunch of accidents. Oh, accident. Yep. Well, you know what they say. What's that? Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Ten-tenths when we're talking about divine law. Okay, I'll be right with you. I was afraid I was gonna have to do this. All right. Moses came down and walked to the sea. The sea, which was red, you see. It was a red sea. And when he came to that there red sea, he said, Water, I want you to spread. And the Lord came down. God came down. Jesus hailed him. He's got the oh, power in his mind. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold You're good. Thank you. Oh, you're real good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> now, let me ask you a question. As a savior of God, may I please have those glasses back? You certainly may have these. You may have the whole parcel. Because you definitely come from the Lord above. Yeah. yeah. The spooky word. Hell, man. <laughs> That's right. Now, where'd you get these glasses anyway? From the Angel of Mercy. The Angel of Mercy. Where, where's that? Just follow the yellow brick road. Oh, the yellow brick road. I think that's the yellow brick road. For your eyes. OK. All right, then. Thank you very much. Oh, no, thank you very much. No, thank you very much. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Check it out. If you found the glasses in that dumpster, that means that Lena's staying in that hotel over there. What are you talking about? Well, it's obvious. Obviously, she's staying in this hotel. Otherwise, the glasses wouldn't have been in the dumpster. What? No, wrong. She could have been driving by and thrown them in the dumpster. How hard is that? No, 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 no. She could have, maybe, could have, would have, should have. But the bottom line is there was a vision. I had a vision. A vision, yeah. We're just gonna I'll handle this. May I help you? Yes, hi. Um, I'm looking for a lady who might have checked in here in the last day or two. Her name is Lena. She's, I don't know, about 5'8", kind of golden brown, kind of wavy hair, green eyes, the cutest little nose, great figure. She's about 36, hi. 30. What? Please. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, have you seen her? Who wants to know? I, I'm, a, I'm a private investigator. My, my uh, client is very, um... A private dick. Well, then, you know the protocol.
Never heard of her. You know, it's a wonder any woman can get along in the world without a man. You're all just so smart. so smart you would have noticed that the hotel registry is sitting right there on the front desk and all we have to do is look for her name and we'll know where she is. Well, if she's here. Well, she's here. Well, how can you be so sure? Trust me. Well, okay, well then how are we supposed to look at the registry, hmm? You're very welcome. Watch and learn. I didn't do anything with the registry. I'd like my key, please. Yes, ma'am. I'll be with you in just a moment. I just need... I don't have a moment. Of course. broken, though. Actually, I'm fine. Never better. Can, can, can I get you an ace bandage? No. Would you sign a liability release? No need. Thank you. I could have gotten out of that myself. I didn't need any help. Oh, yeah, how? What, you were going to tunnel your way to freedom? Is that right? I had a plan. Oh, no, 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 no. You had a problem. I had the plan. Yeah, some plan. I fell on the floor. Private investigator. This is a uh, crisis management situation. What? Okay? Crisis management, SAR, strategy, action, resolution. What are you talking about? Oh, it's a crisis management workshop lingo. Far too sophisticated for you, you wouldn't understand. Okay, we're on the sixth floor, she's on the ninth. What kind of strategy is that? You wouldn't understand. Okay. It's a strategy, we need a base of operations, a war room. A war room. Bobby, how do you suggest we get the glasses, please? Maybe I should seduce her. Seduce her? Well, she left you handcuffed to a bedpost in your underwear. I had bronchitis. I was very ill. Bronchitis? Yes. The male ego. Ego. <sighs> Do you have a better plan? Yeah. So, uh, so what are you going to do? Just walk up to her and ask her for the sunglasses? Maybe one oppressed woman to another kind of a thing? No, maybe we could just let ourselves into a room, get Coleman's glasses, and go home. You know, you know, I hate it when you're a smart ass.
This isn't the gap. We're trying to find Coleman's glasses. Thank you. Thank you for that commentary. I forgot what we were doing here, actually. Oh, figures. You could floss with these. You're so typical. She's a very sexy woman, and any man would think so. Yeah, any man who thinks with his dick. Oh, I see. So you're saying that if a man likes sexy lingerie, that makes him shallow or something, right? No. I think you're shallow. Oh, I'm shallow. Oh, I'm shallow. Could we have this debate another time? Preferably when I can speak at the top of my voice. All right, so where are we? You get right to the point, don't you? I can't afford not to, sweetheart. You can't either. Are you threatening me, Mr. McVie? Well, let's just say I'm anxious to find out if these glasses are all you say they are. Fine. Nice, huh? I'm not interested in making a fashion statement. Why don't you put those on and I'll give you a demonstration of what they can do. That's what you're here for, isn't it? Nice colors. Everything's got a real, like, fiery glow to it. You can take your glasses off now, Mr. McVie. I like your shorts. What? Huh? What? I don't remember do How much you want for these glasses? I think they'll do well at auction, don't you? Imagine all the people who'd want to buy these. Businessmen, politicians. World powers. Can I be honest with you, Ms. Drago? Well, that'd be a very good idea. The people that I represent are willing to pay very handsomely for these, and also to give you a premium for making sure others don't know that we have them. So you buy the glasses and then they don't exist? Exactly. I don't know. I think that would cost you in a very serious way. I have unlimited resources. We're willing to pay you $5 million in cold cash and deliver it to you here. Let's say, uh, how's 4.30 in the afternoon sit with you? Five million dollars? Do I stutter when I talk? You got yourself a deal. Uh, there is, however, one proviso. What's that? We do a little switcheroo. Mm -hmm. I get to wear those glasses, and you wear these. Five million dollars. Yeah, that's a five with six zeros after it. She makes love like a man. probably gonna think I'm really weird or whatever, but look, I've been dreaming about you for the past two nights. I mean, two nights in a row. Hey, you can forget that kind of shit, kid. I'm not into that. Do you believe in out-of-body communication? Get out of my face. No, look, look, I believe in personal space also, okay? But right now my friends are out there and I need to get a hold of them. So call them up. It's not like that. Have you ever participated in a seance? Guard! No, no, shh. Don't call a guard. Don't call a guard. Look, do this one thing for me. I know it sounds weird, but I'll never ask you to do anything again, I swear. Who are you? I 
I'm a man in need of someone to channel with. Channel? Like holding hands and shit? Yeah, you know, like communicating with, with beings from the beyond. A seance? Yeah. With me? Yeah, look, I need all the good karma I can get. And you're looking for it in jail? <laughs> Please. <laughs> You smoke? No way, no way. Do you know what that stuff does to your lungs? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, but uh, I hate to smoke alone. Look, I can't do that. No cigarette, no seance. Light me. Know your heart, Bobby. Know your will. Know your heart, Bobby. Know your will. Coleman? Know the strength within. Know your will. Listen to Coleman, Bobby. Know your heart. Know your will. 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 Never mind. Listen, Lena and her friend are in the shower, and they've got the glasses with them. What do you think they're doing? Hmm. <laughs> Whoa. What? I had, like, the most intense dream. It was, um, Dinger, and he was in jail, and he was talking to me, and he was with Coleman. But it wasn't Coleman. It was, like, some big, fat biker guy. Anyway. Look, do you want those glasses or not? Are you done? She's never gonna buy this. You know what? You need some help with that zipper. No, I'm fine. Thank you. You know, you look uh, pretty sexy in that maid's uniform. Uh, yeah, we could play doctor and I could teach you to make love like a man. I, I, I just thought of a better idea. Better idea? This was your idea. This is my, this is an old plan. Now I've got a new plan, because I think a lot, and I'm, I just thought, hit me. Don't tell me. What? You're afraid of heights. No, it's the falling. The, I don't like that part at all. The heights, I'm fine with. But you know what? How about this? You put on the maid's uniform, and I'll go out there. Would you like that? It's not bad. You know what? Get out no, there. No, 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 no. Okay. All right, okay, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'll spot you. All right, don't spot me. <laughs> no spotting. Don't touch me. Don't. I'm helping. I'm hey, don't help. Don't help. I don't want any help. I'm fine. Easy I'm okay. Just go away. Go away. Go away. It's no big deal. No, 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 no. Don't Ow! come with me. Okay? Go away. Go away. No big thing. It's no big thing. It's no big thing at all. I can do this. I can do this. I, can do... I can't do this. What am I thinking? This is crazy. Okay, I can. No, it's no big deal. I'm hyperventilating. I can't breathe. Smog, it's LA, it's no big deal, okay. Okay, no big deal, just gonna climb right over this little thing here. Climb right on over, no problem. Oh, got a little leg caught there, no problem, just one leg's all I need. Okay, all right, climbing. Stick to the wall, like uh, that spider guy. Bonjour, bonsoir, now. There's a rail, there's a rail, I love this rail. This is a great rail. Good, I, I feel like a... Superhero. It's nice. It's nice. Just keep climbing. Uh. Hola. Be clean. Clean. Be blanca. Clean. Clean your room. Big corner. Big turn. Big turn. 
Hi, how you doing? It's a gargoyle. I love those guys. Okay. Ikena. Ikena Roma. Spanish. Good. Positive thinking. I'm safe. I'm safe. Whoa! Me voy a llevar un regalo de vaso ahora. Ven más tarde. No. Habla español. Español. Habla inglés. No, no, no habla inglés, no. What the hell do you habla? No français, no. No, Frère Jacques. Oui, oui, Frère Jacques. Frère, sing, sing, Frère Jacques. Dormez-vous. Dormez. No, no, me clean, please. Me clean, it's dirty. Me clean. No, I clean. Me clean, please, it's dirty. You know, it's really time you leave. What are you doing? Uh, on, deux, trois, on, Stop it. Trois, Stop, stop. Listen to me very carefully. Well, I gotta go. What? You have a nice day. What a nitwit. Whoa, that was scary. Wow! You are such a the pig. How was that? You know, I, I am embarrassed to even be a member of your species. Embarrassed about well. cooking and looking Good at her butt. What are you talking about? Like the oh, you're jealous. Speaking languages, That's what the problem I don't is, even right? know. You're jealous. You're jealous. Okay. Jealous? No, you, yeah, yeah, let me tell you something. Jealous? You're, je yeah, you're jealous. Oh, no. You're jealous you did one thing because crazy. you wish that I you would have seen her bite. to save ah. your life. And On sailing? Where is she? Let her go and I'll tell you. <laughs> How about this? Oh. You tell me where she is, and you won't have to clean her brains off the wall. Room 913. <laughs> Why should I not? I said so. If I have the key. How convenient. And use it.
Get over there. We don't have time for this. Come on. Come on. Oh, great. The fire escape. Oh, well, we could just stay here and die. Come no, we on. can't. Oh, God, it's locked. It's locked. It's locked. They must all be locked. OK, what are we going to do? Well, we have no choice. Well, no choice. We have a choice. Of course we got a choice. It's a choice. Listen, my life is at stake all right, here. We have no I choice. don't have okay, time okay, for okay, this. Fine. Let's no go. Uh, all right. All right, come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be there in a second. I'm right behind you. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm on my way. I'm leaving now. I left already. Okay, OK. I've already left. My foot's there, but I'm gone. Angel! What are you doing? What, are you, what am I doing? Come what are you, on! You're walking along a ledge like it's Let's a sidewalk. <laughs> okay, I'm coming. I'm on my way. Oh, I do come this. on! You're going too slow! Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm not going too slow. I don't need a cheerleader. I'm fine. No big deal. Okay, come on. Whoa. Please, okay. Please, All right, I'm coming. All right, you don't need to tell me twice. Come on, just an open window over here. Stinks in here. Is that you? Hmm. 
Good night. What is that? Shh. Oh, my God. Don't hear me. Ride's over. Uh-oh. You got something that belongs to me. Either you're given to me now, or I take them off your dead body. Okay, you two be good and don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> I don't think there's anything you wouldn't do. <laughs> oh. Know your heart. Know your will. Know your heart. Look inside yourself. Look into your heart. <laughs> Like, I was just, I was just concerned, all right? I mean, what? Don't let it go to your head. What time is it? How? It's 4.15. What time did they say? 4.30. Okay, great, we're gonna miss the sale. <clears throat> hey, thanks, guys. How are you want? We gotta go. Well, wait a minute. We don't even know where we're going. Well, while you were snoozing under the bed, I had my ears open. Oh, yeah? Well, I gotta get something first. Come on. I've been rich, and I've been poor, sweetheart. And believe me, rich is better. I'm sure it is. A lot better. Hey! Those aren't the real glasses. These are. What the hell's going on here? Don't believe him. He's lying. Oh, really? Then how come I can do this? Hey! Oh, hey, give me go. Which one's are they? Come on, everybody, get up here. Come on. Which one's the real one? Here we go. Get him down. 
it. Everybody hold it right now. There's only one thing left to do. Sit here and not move. Till the cops come to haul my ass off to jail. Hey, surprise everybody! <laughs> hey! Get away from that money. Come on, fella, come on, let's compromise. I mean, you know, we could talk. Hey! Shut up! Just... just do it! All right, all right. <laughs> Give him the glasses. See, we all got this, uh... You! Me? Let's go. Oh. I can go? Charges have been dropped. When will I see you? About three to five. You look me up? Definitely. Stay spiritual? Always. us to have these glasses for a reason and the reason was to learn how to communicate better with each other except I think what we've all learned from this experience is we don't need no stinking glasses to communicate better with each other we do it already so <laughs> there we go and as far as Coleman's concerned communicating with him we always have our dreams. I think that's what Coleman always wanted. Yeah, and you know what? As far as dream girls go, uh, I'm gonna get mine the old-fashioned way. Yeah, and how's that? How else? Video dating. You wanna see? Hang on. Yes. Take a look at these bits.